Hello everyone! Have you ever experienced something like this? Typing the wrong passcode for too many times and then you're unable to unlock your iPhone. Sometimes you may want to unlock your iPhone screen lock by resetting your phone directly. However, this method will most likely wipe all of your data. So, if you want to reset the iPhone passcode without losing data, you can watch this video to do it. Firstly, you need two tools downloaded on your computer. One is iTunes. Another one is iMyPhone Lock Wiper. I have to say that the function of iMyPhone Lock Wiper is really powerful. Not only can it unlock iPhone screen passcodes, but also it can unlock Apple IDs, screen time passcodes, and MDM locks. Even if your iPhone is broken, it can also unlock your password without difficulty. Let's see how it works. Before using Lock Wiper, please make sure you've backed up your data. Here, we will teach you how to back up your data by using iTunes first. The steps are actually quite easy. Just launch iTunes and connect your iPhone to the computer. If you've signed into your account before, just click Restore from this backup. If not, click on the phone icon and click Backup Now. After that, wait until the backup process is finished. Now your iPhone data has been backed up. You can start resetting the iPhone without losing data by Lock Wiper. It only takes you four steps to reset your iPhone. Please follow the steps below. Step 1. Launch iMyPhone Lock Wiper on your computer and choose Unlock Screen Passcode. Then click Start. Step 2. Connect your iPhone to the computer with a USB cable. Then click Next to go on. Step 3. Lock Wiper will auto-detect your iPhone. Select the correct firmware version provided and click Download. Wait for a while and verify the firmware package. Step 4. Click Start to extract the firmware. Next, click Unlock. Finally, enter 000000, 000 and tap on Unlock. Lock Wiper will unlock your iPhone screen passcode successfully within a few minutes. After resetting your iPhone passcode, don't forget to recover your data. Launch iTunes and keep your iPhone connected to your computer. Then click on the phone icon and click Restore Backup to get all of your data back to your phone. Now your data has been restored. To avoid this situation happening next time, we will provide some tips for you. Number 1. Always allow access to USB accessories when backing up your iPhone data with iTunes. Therefore, you need to keep the USB accessories enabled. Number 2. Back up your data on iCloud. Turn on your backup feature on iCloud and choose the things you want to back up always. This will save you a lot of time to back up manually. Alright, that's all for this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time!